Hey guys, I'm gonna start this new video series which I call What's Unique About This Unique? Or in short, what who? Uh, which sounds like a sneeze and a spit at the same time, but whatever. Basically, I want to take a unique item and just talk about it. If it has some complex mechanic, explain it, how to build around it, or maybe it's not even viable to build around it. So we'll see how this goes. And if you like this video, make sure you like and comment below which unique should I do next. So I wanted to start with Facebreaker. It is a very old and very iconic unique. A fun fact, brother Lars, author of famous Meta and Excel mod for Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, played a role in designing of Facebreaker. Also just a quick note, uh, Wiki may not be updated all the time and some information may be incorrect or missing some version history, so you may want to double check some items. Facebreakers have not changed much, only global critical strike multiplier and more physical damage with unarmed attacks has been nerfed over time. The most iconic skill used with Facebreaker is probably Infernal Blow. It is very satisfying skill to use with this because you tap enemies once and they all go pop. However, Infernal Blow has always been a bit weak for single target and especially after a big difficulty increase in Metamorph League, it may require extra preparation. There are also Ancestral Warchief totem builds and another recently popularized skill to use with base breakers is Cyclone and Reckoning. This requires a bit more explanation so to start off I'll quickly talk about how to build around face breaker. When building around face breakers you cannot use weapon but you can still use a shield or even a quiver. You usually go with non crit build because unarmed has 0% base critical strike chance by default. However, you can use Rigwald's Curse Amulet to gain 7% base critical strike chance, which will then be scaled by all the other increase to critical strike chance and uh, is typically more damage build but also tends to be squishier and requires more investment. Since you cannot use weapon, you essentially have no base damage and Phase Breakers has massive multiplier for physical damage with attacks, so you want to get as many items that uh, give flat physical damage to attacks as possible. While leveling most popular items are Meganor's Girdle, which is only level 8 belt and adds 5 to 15 physical damage to attacks. Any iron ring can increase damage quite a lot as well. For helmet you may want to grab date bell at level 33 which adds 10 to 20 physical damage to attacks which also has faded version and this helmet can be upgraded to date below which only adds attack cast and movement speed if you have work right recently which is not that great. For shield at level 46 you may want to grab great old ones ward which increases attack speed and has pretty big amount of flat damage to attacks. Just do not ignore your defenses, remember if you die you deal no damage. There are a lot more items to boost facebreakers damage and I encourage you to search it for yourself if you want to plan a build on your own. As for support gems and other skills, if you are playing with Inferno Blow, you will most likely want to use Ancestral Call to increase your clear speed but maybe splash is no longer needed. And since you are most likely going to convert all of the damage into fire damage, you may want to use Combustion, Fire Penetration, mainly physical damage support gem and so on. Just keep in mind that Chance to Bleed support gem will not work with facebreaker because it only adds flat physical damage to a attacks done with weapons. Same goes for Rage Support Gem. Now back to that Cyclone Reckoning build that I mentioned a moment ago. Cyclone is not really a skill that I wanted to focus on and it is actually Reckoning, which is counter skill when you block you perform directional AOE attack towards enemies and this can be very strong on Gladiator because Gladiator has passive called Pain Forged which makes your counter attacks have 100% chance to deal double damage. I am wording it this way on purpose because getting uh, another source of chance to deal double damage would do nothing. You cannot have more than 100% chance to deal double damage. Now there is a shield that grinds you level 30 Reckoning, the Surrender, which is usually pretty expensive but counter attacks were recently changed to gain flat damage with levels and that also works very well with face breakers. You may also want to use skills like Herald of Purity which grants flat physical damage to attacks but at some point it would be more efficient damage wise to get percentage increase or another percentage more damage rather than just stacking flat damage. So I guess you're gonna have to play around in path of building to see what uh, scales better. Another older build that I mentioned is Ancestral Warchief or stun locking with uh, Warchief totems which used to be able to stun lock even Uber Elder but with a couple recent changes to stun mechanic and uh, massive increase to boss life may have made this build not so viable anymore. While damage wise it would still be great but uh, Warship totems tend to have pretty slow clear speed. I want to keep these videos short so I didn't go over all the details and I will try to improve this and that over time but which item should I do next? There are so many unique items and maybe not all of them are worth making videos about or maybe I'll compile a list of items that I can talk about quickly in one video. Let me know in the comments below. 
below. Also a quick reminder, I am streaming every day on Twitch and I usually play some kind of off meta build or trying new things. You can find links, schedule and other information in the video description. For now, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.